Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome back to my channel. Now if it's your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping by. I am certainly excited to see you here. If you like Disney, if you like DIYs, if you like planner videos, please stick around and subscribe because that's the kind of fun we like to have around here. Speaking of fun, today I have a little bit of a Disney haul. Just a little bit. Oh, and it's all in this bag. Oh. Don't you just love the Disney Store bags? <laughs> so our Disney Store opened up here in the St. Louis area, but also our outlet store opened and Rod and I went over to the Disney outlet. Now this isn't all from the Disney outlet. We really just picked up one thing, but I have a couple of other items that that I've been gathering since, well, June. June and July, I actually have three items in here. One is from the Disney store, like I said. Another is from Shop Disney, and another is from Amazon, but it is very, very Disney related. So let's just get into this bag and see what we have, right? Okay, so here's this fun Shop Disney paper. And let me put this down here. The first thing I have, we went to our outlet. Can you see from the back? Oh my gosh, I was so excited because our outlet had some pins. And not only did they have some pins, but they had pins from the very coveted Minnie's Adventure main attraction pins, Minnie Mouse's main attraction pins, main, Minnie Mouse's main attraction adventure. Is the word adventure in there? You'll see why I have the word adventure in my head today. But uh, this is from the teacups. So Minnie visited the teacups and she found herself on a set of pins and uh, I have them now, so I'm pretty excited. So these are really cool. These are a monthly release. This was released, this is three of 12. So this would have been the March set. Um, and we have Minnie Mouse here in a fabulous, fabulous outfit. They have the plush there too, but I'm not really collecting the plushes, but she was gorgeous for sure. They have uh, ears. Now these ears Disney had made, these are really pretty too. And of course a teacup and I love the teacups. So, well, let me get them out of here and give you close up of each of these pins. Our first pin of the Minnie Mouse main attraction, see, I got it right there, <laughs> set is the teacup. Now, I love the Mad Tea Party, and look at this teacup. What is really nice about this is it bevels out, so it's kind of puffy, so I love that. Gives it more of a three-dimensional quality. We even have some tea inside, which makes it even more fun. Let me show you the backs of these pins. So these pins have two pin posts. This is a gold background, which is beautiful. It says Minnie's main attraction and they are limited release pins. So yeah, these are really nice. So yeah, riding on the teacups. That would be really fun right about now. The next pin is Minnie, of course. Oh my gosh, look at her, isn't she beautiful? She's all dappered up and she's holding a teacup, which is really cute because it's the same uh, teacup as the first pin I just showed you. So each of these collections have an attraction pin, a mini pin who's dressed inspired by the attraction, and then an ear headband pin. But uh, look at Minnie, she is just really adorable and so dainty. Oh, she's beautiful, love this. And here's Minnie's ear headband. Look at that, it has her hat with this beautiful pink bow. Look at that and the design going on the ears there. Now they did make this pair of ears as ears too, which were really beautiful, gosh. But um, I have the pin to commemorate that. Super cute. These pins are really cute and I really do like this collection. Now this collection, as I said, is a monthly release. It was released in the Disney stores and on Shop Disney, but with everything happening, it really only has been released on the Shop Disney website, which has had some issues, especially with these limited editions. Well, these are limited release, but these are highly desirable. So they've had some issues with these. Disney halted the sale of these uh, right after May. That's the only other set I have, the May one, which is the Tiki Room, oh yeah super cute, but uh, they halted it for June, and the June release was uh, Peter Pan, which is an adorable set, really cute, and I think the next month that we, we have waiting is the Carousel, oh my gosh, that one's cute too, and then I even saw a glimpse of the next month, which is Dumbo, super adorable, so these attractions are really nice. I'm not going to collect them all, it would be kind of impossible almost this year to do that, I think. Uh, kudos to you if you are, but I am an attraction person and I do love some attractions coming up such as Haunted Mansion and uh, the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, really excited about those and to see what they are. But 
I'm really happy to have this. I do love the teacups and the tea party because I am such an Alice in Wonderland fan and the whole tea party scene is my favorite. So I was really excited when we went into the outlet store to get these, or not to get these, but we saw these and it was really exciting. Now I will tell you this, in the outlet store, they were requiring masks. We already had our masks because we wear our masks wherever we go. We waited in line outside because they were only letting 23 people in at a time. So they're doing what they can to be very safe with this and uh, Rod and I don't venture out too much, but we did go do this and uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, speaking of attractions, and this is why that has been in my head, let's pull out the next item because I'm really excited about this. So. Here's my bag. This came from the Shop Disney website and it was just released, just released. And I uh, saw it and Rod said, well, you have to have that, obviously. You ready? Oh, look at this. Okay, well, let me put this down so you can see it. It's the Jungle Cruise Funko Pop. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw this. And it's like the classic style with the red and the white striped awning. Perfect for this month with my whole Jungle Cruise theme going on with my pin board. Wait, back here, right? See that? <laughs> so yeah, we saw this and was very excited. So let me show you this in the box and then we're gonna take it out and take a really good look at it. So here you have our world famous Jungle Cruise excursions departing daily. <laughs> and you can see him inside there. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, look at that. Here's the side of the box. Here's the back of the box. Look at all the adventures we can have. Oh my gosh, look at all those cute animals. Love them. A little hippo in the water. Super adorable. And here we have this side too. So yeah, super fun. But I don't just like looking at them in the box. I like to play with my toys. So we're gonna take it out and it'll probably live in the background for a while. So let's get this box open. Super fun, super fun. Now, I don't have that many Funko Pops, but a few of them come around and I have to have them. Um, mostly they're seasonal-ish, but yeah, oh gosh. Oh, look at the top, okay. This is adorable. So we have our skipper here in the front and you know, all the seats are in there. Wait, which one are you gonna sit at? Oh my gosh, this is super cute. So we have the Congo Queen here and I love these bars. This is very reminiscent of the uh, Kingdom of Cute Series 1 Jungle Cruiser pin, right? And look at this smokestack with the smoke. Okay, let me give you a really good close up of this because it's adorable. So here's the Jungle Cruise just coming at ya. <laughs> So let me flip it to the side here so we can see it better. So you can see it's the Congo Queen. That's the boat we're in here. And um, you can see inside. Look at that, you can see the seats and even that center seat. Sometimes you have to sit on the center seat. No, I don't like sitting on that center seat because you can't see as well, right? And then here's the back of our boat. This is very sturdy. It feels very different than, a, it's more plasticky than a regular Funko. He's probably more Funko-y, right? Look at that, but I this part up here, look at the smokestack. Oh, that's super cool, super cool. So, um, well right here is where you get on the boat, right there, right? And uh, you go this way or that way, and you sit, and then you go on the adventure of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, ah, this is very exciting. I absolutely love this. So yeah, it's gonna find a nice place in my background for sure. I'll have to find a good spot for it. Right now, I think I'll put them right over here. I think you can still see them. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, the Jungle Cruise is my very favorite ride in the Disney parks. My favorite attraction is the Tiki Room. So, see, I get the best of both worlds when I say it that way, right? <laughs> Speaking of the Jungle Cruise, this next item came from Amazon, and it was released. June 1st. Now my birthday is the end of May, so when we got wind that this was being released in the beginning of June, the boys in the house said, you have to have that. So I was still, you know, like I said, rolling around on my birthday, so yeah, I got it. <laughs> and we've been playing it ever since. Now, I, it is another, well, let's see. It's another Jungle Cruise item. We'll just go that route, okay? And it is the Jungle Cruise game. So yeah, look at the artwork on that. Super fun. So I think what happened is the Jungle Cruise movie with Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt 
love them both, right? Was supposed to be released in June and or July. I don't know. It was supposed to be released and now it's not going to be released until next year. Oh, I have to wait a whole other year now. So, um, yeah, I think actually it was going to be released in July. That was what it was. And so they started releasing those Jungle Cruise items. Well, good for me because I love the Jungle Cruise, but makes me want to see the movie even more. So this game is really fun we got it in the beginning of the june and we've been playing it and it, it's fun it's fun so let me give you a close-up of the box and then um i'll open it up and show you some of the insides so here's the front of this box and i just love the artwork isn't it beautiful and there's our cruiser super fun and oh what does that say a voyage what does that say a voyage of mystery and misfortune yes so let me show you the back of the box and it gives you an idea of the game board here and the play. It's really colorful and fun and very adventure landy. Very attraction based, very jungle cruisy, and I love it. So let's open it up a little bit and let me give you a view of what's inside. So here we have the inside, and really all you can see is just the board, but the board is pretty cool too. Let me move this aside here. And on the board, there's a giant letter, and it says, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to put my glasses on for this one. So just for a moment here, it says, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Navigation Company is famous across the world for being world famous. <laughs> You're about to enjoy our distinctive, exciting voyage down perilous jungle rivers. But you'll need a little extra preparation for this trip since this time you're the skipper. And you'll be the captain, river guide, cruise director, snake charmer, lion tamer, and possibly even swimming instructor to an intrepid group of travelers. So, and it goes on and that's really cool, really cool. Okay, let me um, open this board so I can show you what it looks like. It's just beautifully done. Do I have it the right side? Here we go. Beautifully done, right? Look at that. Let me show you a little closer. So you start here and you follow the river maze all the way around meeting all kinds of things on the way until you get to the finish line, which is right over here. Super simple, right? The artwork is beautiful on this. So here's the instructions. So they go like this. Did you catch all that? <laughs> and I just want to show you a couple of the game pieces because it's really fun. We have them in baggies to keep them all separated. But uh, four people can play this, and can, less than four. We played with three. I think two can play. Two to four players, ages eight and up. So there you go. Each player gets their own playing board, so to speak. But the board's a boat. It's a jungle cruiser. Check it out. So we have four different colors. So the green is Volta Val. We have red, which is Nile Nelly. We have yellow, which is Sakuru Sadie. I think I totally messed that up. And we have blue, which is the Congo Queen. So let's take a look at this. So you can see it's like the inside of a Jungle Cruiser boat. So you would enter here and you have your port side here and there's one, two, three spots. We have our back end, there's three spots there. Our starboard side has three spots and then here is our center. There's three spots there too. And then this would be the front of the boat. So these spots are important because this is where we hold the passengers, which are right here. So here are some of the passengers and your object is, is to keep your passengers in your boat, not to lose them or to rescue passengers from the water, which you can do too. Now you'll also notice each of these passengers has a symbol. And if you look, there's four different symbols, which is very important because there are four different families traveling along the river. Ah, and your object is not only to keep your passengers and keep your families, but to try to get the family that is the important family for that particular game. And I'll show you how you find that out. So at the finish line will be this, you know, very important letter and you will reveal it when you get to the finish line to show that this family, the denial family that had this pathway symbol, that is the family that was special that trip. So if you have those family members in your boat, you get a lot more points. Now, you don't really know who the special family is until you get to the end, but you can find out because look, there's three more. And these are scattered throughout the maze, throughout the river maze, and you can sidetrack to find out if uh, which family is not special, so the temple family. Well, you know, you know you can get rid of them and replace them with another one to try to get more points. And let's see, we have the Lions family, and then of course we have the Cruz family. Super fun. But you can lose people easily with the cards. And I have a couple here, and I want to read them to you. I'll make my glasses again. <laughs> 
So uh, these cards you pick up each turn and it shows you there's three marks up here and that's one dice. So you roll one dice for this one. I'll explain that in a second. And then here it shows you the side of the boat that you could possibly lose a passenger on. So this card is for Schweitzer Falls. Your danger is one and your damage is to your port side of the boat. And it says, here's the famous Schweitzer Falls, named for the famous explorer, Dr. Albert Falls. <laughs> so that is fun throughout the whole game too. You get the skipper commentary, which is really fun. So you have to roll one dice and you just roll a dice and if it lands on a blank spot, then you don't lose a passenger. But if it lands on an exclamation point, you lose a passenger. So you only have to roll one. Sometimes you might have to roll two. And this one's the African Velt and you'll lose somebody in the back of your boat on this one. And it says, you probably recognize most of the animals you see here, except maybe the wildebeest. That's because they're new. <laughs> so that's fun, right? This one you roll two dice. So yeah, your chances of losing one or two people, because the two dice, you can get two people lost. There's three. Oh, you can lose three people, and this one on your starboard side. So Lost Safari. I wouldn't want to be the low man on that totem pole. My only advice is to him is bottoms up. So let me show you this one. So it's fun because the cards also show some of the scenes that you that you see in the Jungle Cruise, which I love. And I just love the skipper commentary. I didn't show you the playing pieces. You know what you're traveling around the board in? Well, a Jungle Cruiser boat. Oh my gosh, look at these. So this is your game piece for the board. Look at that. So you're traveling around the board. Oh my gosh, this game is just really, we've been having fun with it. It's just fun and I love these board pieces for sure. So yeah, these are really fun, but you know, I might have my own game piece. <laughs> Can you imagine? Those boys wouldn't stand a chance. Might try it. <laughs> So yeah, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. You know, during these times we're staying in a lot more. We're playing way more games, which is really fun. And we've been having a lot of fun with this game too. I am looking forward to the Jungle Cruise movie. Please come soon, except I know now it's gonna be next year. So yeah, I have to wait a while for that, you know, Dwayne Johnson. Ugh, love him, love Emily Blunt too, but Dwayne Johnson. That's where it's at. <laughs> I also am pretty excited that I was able to get uh, this mini main attraction pin. Super fun, just kind of hanging out in the Disney outlet. Maybe as the Disney stores are opening, we'll start seeing some of these pins and items that we've been looking for. Maybe they'll start showing up and it won't be such a big issue to get them. But um, I am looking forward to more of the main attractions later in this year. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to the Haunted Mansion. I think it's supposed to be October and November is the Jungle Cruise. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to that one too. Let me know down below uh, what you think of my little haul. I know the Jungle Cruise might not be for everyone, but boy, I love it. <laughs> super fun. Oh my gosh, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.